What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are looking at the new Flashback Player SBC and it is going to be Marcelo to review today. Boys, I'm looking at this card and honestly, I'm actually impressed at how good all-rounded he actually is. But boys, the price this guy is going for... Yeah, let's, let's not talk about it because an 88 rated team with an 87, with an 86, with an 85, with an 84 is quite ridiculous. But we're going to see how good he is actually in game. Now, he has got 90 pace, 93 dribbling, 78 shooting, 90 defending, 92 passing with the 89 physicals as well. He is a 5 foot 9 player with high low work rates. 5-star skill moves and a 4-star weak foot. So 5-star skill moves, 4-star weak foot in that fullback position is obviously very, very nice to have. But the high-low work rates could be a little bit questionable. Now, when it comes down to the chem style, we are using the anger chem style on Marcelo simply because you're getting that little bit of extra pace, but you're getting a huge boost when it comes down to his strength. So he is going from 89 strength over to 99 strength, which we all know is absolutely incredible. So he has got 97 acceleration, with a 94 sprint speed, so insanely fast. Shooting ability though, looking pretty decent. 87 attacking positioning, 78 finishing, 87 shot power, 75 long shots, 67 volleys, with the 63 penalties as well. So shooting just in general for a fullback is not bad at all. And if you want to use this guy in like a left wing back position, then obviously go ahead and do it because it looks like he has that ability to go forward. Now his passing ability, he has got 90 vision with 97 crossing, 77 free accuracy, 93 short passing, 89 long passing with a 97 curve as well. Passing ability, you already know it's going to be top tier. Now his dribbling ability, he has got 88 agility, 90 balance, 87 reactions, 96 ball control, 94 dribbling with the 87 composure as well. With 5 star skill moves as well, just keep that in mind. Now his defensive stats, he has got 99 interceptions, 91 heading accuracy, 89 defensive awareness, 99 standing tackling with a 99 slide tackling as well. I'm expecting him to be an absolute beast when it comes down to defense. And the physicals, he has got 98 jumping, 87 stamina, 99 strength with 99 aggression. We are looking at a 5 foot 9 player with 99 strength and 99 aggression. If he gets into a situation that he has to use that strength, you already know he is going to be bodying the majority of the players. The only player that I can really see him probably struggling up against might be like a maybe like a team of the ECR 7 or like a player of the month, Haaland. Because we all know Haaland, <laughs> that guy's got too much strength. Let's just say that. But boys, when it comes down to the links for this guy, Brazilian, Real Madrid. So the links are absolutely outrageous and there's a certain individual that you can get a weak link with and it is going to be your boy Neymar. Now, I've also got likes of Desai, Ruben Diaz and your boy Neuer in the defensive line as well. Now, when it comes down to which positions will I be trying Marcelo in, I'm going to try him, I would say, in three different positions. I'm going to try him in that left back position, that left wing back position, just to see that attacking presence. But I also want to use this guy in a CDM position as well, just to see how good he actually is in that position. But I do feel like left wing back for Marcelo is probably probably going to be the way to go but let's get into the games pass it down good touch Memphis give it to Marcelo let's see that pace let's see it come into play keep going there you go fake shot around the corner good use of strength inside oh my god look how he feels on the ball fake shot around the corner now nah, we just couldn't get past him but did you see how nice the skill moves felt come on now he's gonna go all the way down isn't he all right this is gonna be a test boys Marcelo how fast are you actually not bad, not bad at all. I do feel like, though, if Kaka actually continued running there, he probably would have got in front of me. Fernandez, passing through in the middle, well played. You know what? I do see a switch all the way to the other side, so I might as well give it a go and look how good that pass is. Little ball roll, Bridget, fake shot, heel to heel. Oh my god, he feels nice. He feels so nice on the ball. I kind of screwed up my skill moves there. But you can tell by how close he keeps it to his feet that he is going to be a really, really nice player like going forward. Name on the ball. You can see Marcelo, how aggressive he is trying to be here. But that's expected because he has got those high-low work rates. So you are expecting him to be ready to go forward. Ah, we're just going to get through the legs there. Pass it down. There you go. Little fake shot. La Coqueta cut into the inside this time. Go for that scoop turn. I kind of want a goal here. Let's see what we can do. Hill to hill. 
No, we just got tackled at the last second. Marcelo, maybe? Oh, we couldn't go for the interception and we couldn't go for a tackle there. I do feel like if Marcelo was like a six foot player in that situation, we could have came out with a ball. But because he is a five foot nine player with not the greatest interception slash tackle reach, he will miss out on balls time to time. Marcelo go for that tackle. Well played, man. And that was a really aggressive tackle as well. Marcelo on the ball here. Good touches. Use that strength to get that ball back. Come on. Against Bruno Fernandes, he gets in front of him, and we are gonna get the we are gonna get the throwing. I like how he was actually aggressive there, and he didn't just sit back behind Bruno. He wanted to get in front and get that ball first. And let's see. There you go. Keep it going. Little fake show around the corner. Oh, scoop turn doesn't really matter. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, look at that footwork. Oh, don't do it. No way, no. Edison, there's no way you're pulling out saves like that. Can we get the goal? We can't get the goal. That's uh, so unfortunate because that angle right there was very good to score at. Mbappe, I see him wide open on this side. Are we going to give him the ball? Hopefully he doesn't go out of play. He's not going to go out of play. That's perfect. Reverse, there you go. Your way. Simple as that. Keep going down. No, I tried to see if I can maybe use his strength to get in front of the guy and like hold him off, but it clearly didn't work out. Bruno Fernandes through the middle. I am playing him in that CDM position now and we are going to go for the long shot, but we are going to put a little bit too much power into it. The thing is about playing him in that CDM position is I feel like he's going to be like super, super aggressive because of those high low work rates. So it could be a slight bit of an issue, but we are going to see how it goes. Marcelo on the edge of the box here. This is a decent angle. We are going to go for the long shot and we are going to get the goal. We finally get the goal. It only, to be fair, it only took like three attempts to actually get it into the back of the net, which is really, really good. Going to see if I can maybe press him here. Go for that tackle or interception. And he, he was going to follow through and actually come out with a ball. But Bruno Fernandes was closest. So there was absolutely no need. But either way, good tackle. He's going to pass line. We're going to go for that interception. Not the greatest touch, but he does well, really well to actually body off that player and come out with a ball. And then I decide I want to hill the hill out of the out of the pitch. Brilliant. Marcelo, come on. Very use that pace. Don't allow him inside either. There you go. Keep it going. Nice. Well played. Good aggression to get out to the guy very quickly. And somehow that's going to be our ball. I have no idea how that's our ball, but I'll take it. We're going to see if we can maybe catch up to him. He's probably going to cut into the inside, right? Or is he going to continue going for the outside? It doesn't matter. We tried to be as aggressive as possible. And we've gave away a free kick. Very unfortunate. Especially from someone that's got 99 standing tackling. I was expecting that to be clean. But it is what it is. He's going to pass down, isn't he? Don't allow him to turn. Well played. Good tackle. Keep going. Use that pace. Is Neymar going to run? There you go. He was eventually going to do it. And he's done it. Let's see what we can do. Come on. Let's see if we can maybe score this goal. You know what? I'm going to go for it. I was going to say, it's 92 Neymar. In form Neymar we are talking about. This guy, he can score from pretty much any angle. Marcelo's transition speed, boys. I'm telling you, like, look how fast he's going left, right, left, right. You can really like go ahead and press your opponent, then instantly come back into the position where he's meant to be in. And that's something I'm really enjoying about him. So it is time to review. And we ended up playing two games with Marcelo. We got ourselves a single goal and we also got ourselves an, a single assist as well. Boys, the card without a doubt is top tier. Like going forward, he's absolutely unreal. At. And defensively, he was also very, very good at. But do I believe he is worth that 700? Then 80k he is currently going for. I don't. When you can get play, when you can get a player like Foot Birthday Furlan Mendy for 700k in the same position in the same club, why would you pay 780k for a Marcelo that is untradeable? Like it literally does not make sense. I'm telling you guys right now, if this card right here was like 500k, go ahead and do it. Instantly go ahead and do it because it would be worth it. But 780k. I don't believe it is. I really, really don't. But it comes down to my other question, though, boys. And I know this question is going to be asked a lot. And I mean a lot in the comment section. Who do I believe is better? Furlan Mendy foot birthday card or this flashback Marcelo card? You know what? Going forward, I'll take Marcelo in a heartbeat. He feels so much better on the ball than Furlan Mendy. It's ridiculous. But defensively, 
Furlan Mendy takes it. It's simple as that. Listen, this Marcelo card is good when he goes in for tackles, but it is certain occasions you can clearly see he does miss out on an interception or he does miss out on a tackle. And there's also other occasions where he's not a player that like consistently sprints back into the position because of those high low work rates. So yeah, defensively, boys, Furlan Mendy 100% wins. But going forward, I'll take Marcelo. It's simple as that. But let's get straight into the ratings. Pace, going to give him a high rating because he deserves it. And it is going to be, I would say, like a solid 9.5 slash 9.6 out of 10. He is an insanely fast player, but I don't feel like he is on like a team of the Alfonso Davis kind of level. So I don't feel like he deserves like a 10 out of 10. Shooting ability. One thing I do like about him, obviously, over Furlan Mendy is the fact that he does give me a shooting, like a shooting ability, let's say. The fact that I can actually go inside the box with him and actually feel like I'm going to score with him. Rather than Furlan Mendy, he hasn't really got the greatest shooting stats. So you probably know that he's going to miss. So for shooting, I am going to give him, I'll probably say, Obviously, like an 8.3. An 8.3 out of 10. I don't feel like he deserves any higher than that. Passing ability. You saw it. Left foot, right foot. It did not matter. And that is something I was really, really enjoying about him. So, for passing, I am going to give him... I'll probably say like a 9.3. A 9.3 out of 10. Dribbling ability. Another one that I'm going to give him a high rating. Because you saw in multiple occasions where I was like combo, com, uh, comboing up the skill moves. I couldn't get my words out there. Either way. I was like, you know, chaining skill moves pretty much. Lack of care to cancels into the hill to hills into like a scoop turn and it felt amazing with him so for dribbling i am gonna give him i'll probably say like a 9.3 slash 9.4 out of 10 defending he was obviously good when he got to the ball not got to the ball sorry got to the player like he would put in a crazy crazy good tackle but it was a lot, and I mean a lot of occasions, he did miss out on an interception or miss out on a tackle. So for defending, I don't believe he deserves any higher than a 9 out of 10. Physicals, you saw it. Oh my god, the guy's aggression was top tier. The guy's strength as well was a top tier. And he is really a player that will fight for your club. So yeah, that is something I really did enjoy about him. So for the physicals, I am going to give him... And I'm not going to give him a 10 out of 10, but it's going to be close. I'm going to give him like a 9.8 out of 10. The only reason I'm not going to give him a 10 out of 10 is because I have felt stronger. I 100% felt strong in this game. So yeah, I don't believe he deserves a 10 out of 10, but a 9.8 is pretty much there. But an overall rating out of 10, boys, I am going to give this card... Oh, it's going to be a tough... I'm going to give him like a 9.4 out of 10. A 9.4 out of 10. As I said, he's an absolutely insane card. But for a player that's going for 780k, especially when you have the likes of Fernand Mendy that plays in that same position, that plays for Real Madrid for only 700k on the market, I just don't believe it is worth it. But boys, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.